What's up everyone, my name is Joe. I'm from Mattress Clarity. Today we're gonna to be looking at the Purple and Lisa mattresses. I'm gonna be comparing and contrasting these two mattresses, telling you the pros and cons of each, what the similarities are between the two mattresses, what the differences are, and telling you who should get one over the other, so stay tuned. Let's get started here by talking about what's similar between these two mattresses. Number one, they're both wildly popular. Um, really made this online mattress category happen. You can read thousands and thousands of very highly rated reviews as well. It's very highly rated mattresses, it's great customer service, very customer friendly policies, things like sleep night trials, things of that nature. Both pretty bouncy, so very kind of responsive sleeping surfaces, very easy to move around, good bounce as well. And I think they're in the same firmness range. I think some may disagree about which one is firmer. Some may say Lisa's firmer, some may say Purple's firmer, but they are in the same kind of firmness range. All right, now you know the similarities, let's talk about the differences. Number one is price. Even though the original price is about the same, Lisa usually has a pretty substantial discount, so it can be about $150, around that range, cheaper for the Lisa for a queen. There's also materials differences. So Purple has three layers. It has a proprietary, very unique uh, hyperelastic polymer top layer, then a transition layer, then a base layer. Lisa also has three layers, but has a proprietary foam called LSA 200 over memory foam over a base layer. There's gonna be some feel differences as well. Lisa kind of combines memory foam and latex-like qualities, having that LSA layer on the top, then memory foam underneath that. So really kind of a balanced foam feel overall. And you have this kind of pressure relieving, yet supportive at the same time, squishy feel from the purple. All right, let's open up these mattresses, see what the construction is for both mattresses and see what the differences are. Starting with the Lisa, we have three layers. We have a pretty standard base layer, the memory foam layer in the middle there, two inches, and then a proprietary foam called LSA 200 on top. It's a very responsive foam, so it's kind of latex-like in that regard. It's still pretty soft and pressure relieving at the same time. So when you combine those three layers, you kind of get all the benefits of memory foam without some of those drawbacks, like sleeping hot, for example, or sinking in too far and getting stuck. So that's really what they're kind of going for here. Good pressure relief, but kind of a balanced foam feel overall. On the purple, it's three layers as well. You have a base layer, and then a transition layer. But what really matters is this top layer, two inches of hyperelastic polymer. The way it works is it stays flat and supportive until a certain pressure threshold threshold is reached, then it collapses. So it's going to be supportive and pressure relieving at the same time. So if you're on your back, it's going to collapse underneath your hips, then stay flat and supportive across the rest of your body. So very supportive in that regard. When you're on your side, it's going to collapse underneath your hips and shoulders. So it should relieve pressure there. Then on your stomach, it's going to stay pretty, pretty flat across the board. It's a good fit for all three sleeping positions. The feel is going to be quite different um, just because of that. You can have more of just kind of a standard foam feel with the Lisa versus this very unique feel from the purple. I think the purple is going to be a little bit more durable and that this gel material doesn't kind of sag the way that foam does over time. I think they're both gonna be pretty breathable. I'd maybe give Purple the slight advantage there, but there are some feel differences and the construction kind of goes for different things overall. All right, now let's talk about differences in firmness and feel. As far as firmness is concerned, I put the Purple at about a seven out of 10, and the Lisa is six and a half out of 10. I think with the Purple, it kind of depends on your weight. So if you're on your side, you really need um, enough weight for that gel to collapse underneath your shoulders and hips. So if you're kind of lightweight, you're probably gonna think it's a little bit firmer, but if you're heavier, you're gonna get that gel to collapse. It's gonna be more pressure relieving and feel softer. So it really depends on your weight. As far as feel is concerned, what they have in common is they're both pretty bouncy sleeping surfaces. So if you dropped the lacrosse ball on Lisa, it would bounce kind of right up. If you dropped it on the purple, it would bounce right up as well. It's very responsive, it's kind of easy to move around, but it really comes down to just a foam feel versus this unique kind of firm yet pressure relieving, um, very squishy feel that you get from the, from the purple. So with the Lisa, you kind of sink in a little bit like you would with the foam mattress, but because the memory foam's in the second layer, you don't sink in too far because of this LSA 200 foam on top. So there are some feel differences here. All right, now I'm gonna talk through how I feel in different sleeping positions on both mattresses. Starting on my back, on the purple, very good match for me. It allows my hips to sink in, then it kind of stays flat and supportive across the rest of my body. Very good match for me there. On the Lisa, pretty good match for me as well. I would say that I feel like Purple's a little bit more supportive for me. Switching onto my side now on the purple, I do feel a little bit of firmness. I don't think I weigh quite enough to really get that full like gel collapsing effect. 
Um, so it's still pretty good mass for me, but that's just kind of something to note if you're a light or medium weight sleeper. Switching on to the Lisa now, very good mass for me here, uh, very good press relief overall. So I'd say I'd probably prefer the Lisa for side sleeping for someone, yeah, light and medium weight. Um, switching on to my stomach now on the purple, very good mass for me, very supportive overall, allows my hips to not sink in too far. A uh, very good mass from a support perspective there. Lisa, I feel like it's a little bit too soft for me. So in summary, I would say for stomach sleeping, I would prefer purple and for back sleeping as well. But for side sleeping, I'd prefer Lisa. Over mattress clarity, we like to give you our subjective opinion on things like firmness and feel, but we like to give you objective tests as well. One test we really like is a pressure map test, which shows you exactly how well each mattress relieves pressure. You get down on a pressure map, you see anywhere from blue to no pressure, all the way up to red to high pressure. So if we throw up the results here for side sleeping, which is what really matters most, you'll see that Lisa has less red, and that kind of makes sense to me. Um, for someone of my weight, I think on your side, on the purple, you don't quite get enough of that kind of gel collapsing effect. So I feel like for some that's lightweight or medium weight, the Lisa probably relieves pressure a little bit better. Hey guys, quick break from this video. We love our YouTube subscribers and want to let you know that we give away a $500 Amazon gift card to one of those subscribers every single month. To get a chance to win, all you have to do is comment on this video, ask any question about this review whatsoever, then subscribe to our channel. So just comment on this video, subscribe, and then once a month we'll pick one lucky winner to get a $500 Amazon gift card. That's basically it, let's get back to the video. Hey guys, Martin here to offer a different perspective. Joe's 5'9", 160, I'm 6'7", 230. I'm a larger person, want to give my experience these two mattresses. So today we have the Lisa mattress and the purple mattress. In terms of firmness, I said the Lisa was a 6.5 out of 10. The purple here was also a 6.5 out of 10. A little bit softer to me than it was for Joe. I think it's because I'm a heavier person. I'm activating this top gel layer more than he did. In terms of sleeping positions, over on the Lisa on my back, really good overall support. My hips sinking into the mattress just the right amount. The top foam layer kind of presses into my lumbar area. On my side, really nice press relief overall, my shoulders and my hips specifically. On my stomach, a little bit too soft for me, I am bowing at the hips. Over on the purple here, on my back, great overall support, hip sink into that top gel layer is the right amount as well. I'm supported overall though, very nice. On my side, great press relief on my shoulders and my hips. On my stomach, also good overall support. I'm not boning in the hips there at all. So what does that mean? I think if you're a heavier back sleeper, both mattresses could work for you. If you're a heavier side sleeper, both mattresses could also work for you. If you're a heavier stomach sleeper, I'd lean towards the purple. If you sleep with a partner, there's two additional things you want to consider when looking at a mattress. That's motion transfer and edge support. Motion transfer is basically, if your partner's moving around on that side of the bed, is that motion going to be isolated or transfer over to you and possibly wake you up at night? Edge support is basically, can you sit on the edge of the bed? Can you sleep towards the edge of the bed without feeling like you're going to fall off? Now, as far as motion transfer is concerned, I would give the advantage to Lisa. She seems to do a little bit better of a job at isolating motion in general. As far as edge support is concerned, I would say purple has a slight advantage. Just kind of prevents that rolling off the bed feeling a little bit more than the Lisa does. All right, now let's talk about which one of these two mattresses is going to be the right fit for you. Let's talk about who should get the Lisa. I think if you're a lightweight sleeper, a medium weight sleeper, and sleep on your side, you're going to find Lisa to be the better choice for you. I think on the purple, you're going to feel a little bit firmness, not quite get that gel to collapse, get the pressure relief that you need. I think if you're used to kind of standard foam mattress feels, this is the more appropriate choice where you kind of sink in a little bit, get good pressure relief, but don't sink in too far. Pretty good balanced foam feel overall. Then if you just can't decide, you are going to save a little bit of money by going with the Lisa. They usually have $150, $160 discounts depending on the, on the day, the holiday. Uh, so let's talk about who should get the purple. I think if you are a back and stomach sleeper, it's going to be the more supportive or, of the two. And then if you are a heavy side sleeper, you're going to get that gel to collapse and then you'll get that pressure relief that you really need. I think I think if you are really concerned about sleeping hot as well, um, it's going to be the more breathable of the two and it's probably going to be the more durable of the two. So if you want to view this as a long term investment, that's just something to know. All right, we've come towards the end of the video. Hopefully I've given you a good overview of the similarities, the differences, the pros and cons of each mattress. And hopefully you have a pretty good idea of which one you want to get. If you're still confused or you just want me to give you a personal recommendation, just leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you're just getting started, kind of figuring out which mattress you want to get, definitely check out mattressclarity.com. If you want to see a full list of our top picks, simply Google Mattress Clarity Best Mattress. And once again, let me know if you have any questions.